Hey Mike. What's up, Sean? More hot butcher. More hot butcher. For the world. That's right. Mike actually just said before this video that he's actually done with that joke, so. No, I'm not. I'm, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it got funny again. It got funny, it got funny again because I got excited that it was going to end. <laughs> you should see our group chat with Kyle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's mostly with you that I pulled that shit. Yeah, I know. Um, so this is another Hot Butcher for the World. Thank you, Jeremiah, for sending this. Absolutely. Thank you very um, much. Yes, this is this is amazing. Um, so this is a Citra and Strata Hopped Milkshake Double IPA brewed with strawberry, kiwi, lime, and vanilla. I don't and think that's true. You don't? I thought it's just flavors of kiwi, strawberry, lime, vanilla. Did I read the uh, label wrong? Oh, what the, what the fuck is this nonsense on it the just website? Says flavors. That doesn't say ingredients. Yeah, but like, brewed with. Oh, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Good call. Roll. I wish it would state that in the the like descriptor of what it's. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Good call. <laughs> I, well, the thing is, especially like some of the hops that they're using, you can kind of see where they get some of those notes. Yeah. And the vanilla because it's a milkshake. Like, eh, fair enough. Got me good. I do love their art. Like the more and more I see their artwork, like Dan yeah. Jets is like killing it with this stuff. This is really sick. For sure. Um, yeah, it says tasting notes of key lime, strawberries, and cream vanilla. So I guess which just, is not the tasting notes it says on the website. Just what the ingredients are. <laughs> oh, and this is a collaboration with Brewski. They're out of New York. Yep. Uh, it looks like they're a small family-owned brewery, and um, yeah, this is the first one we've been doing. Uh, the first one we've had from this batch, and. Uh, Given the other ones, I'm super excited. Yeah. So I guess Strata gives passion fruit, strawberry, and uh, dank. I don't know what to fill this again. Oh, and look, I did a little, little Sean pour again. A little bitch pour is what you mean. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to be too crass. Too bad. Oh well. Is it more? Probably. So. This actually looks a little bit like one of those beers we had from, uh, um, what's that New York brewery? Um, I could say a few, like New York proper. Yeah, Kyle got it for us, I think. Oh, Equilibrium. Nope, they're upstate. Um, no, the one uh, they had the strawberry rhubarb beer. That's not them. They're not New York. Oh, well, they're, like, well, they're Wisconsin. Are they? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, got me good. I'm wrong. I'm, I'm wrong a lot today. You're, you're thinking of strawberry rhubarb by um, a drawing blank too. Yeah, I can't think of the brewery. Uh, it's in the fridge. We still have it. We still have a bottle of it. We haven't drank it yet because because I think we want to actually share it with the wives. Oh, good call. We're dumb. Uh, we should just drink it. Yeah, we should. They don't know it's there. Uh, New Glarus. New Glarus. Yeah. Oh, okay, that would that would have aggravated me the whole review if I couldn't figure that yeah. out. But it looks a little bit like a New Glarus beer. Yeah, he does. Bit. Yep. But I guess like having the strawberry in there makes sense. Like the, it's, I want it was probably like a strawberry puree or whatnot. Oh, I would imagine. Yeah. But yeah, it has an interesting color. It's like it has like a pinkish hue to it. Um, it comes but out vaguely brownish. Though, it too. looks a little different than than what I'm seeing on the camera right now. Um, but yeah, vaguely brownish. Actually, it, it, it actually looks brighter on camera. Yeah, it it looks like more like a, a standard. Well, it looks brighter. If you hold it, but then as you get further back, you can tell it's a little darker. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Definitely looks milkshakey. So the lactose is, is a prevalent. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's in the nose. Oh Jesus Christ! You're getting strawberry and, and vanilla way up in the wazoo. Yeah. That's... Big time. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what kiwi smells like. I know what it tastes like. Kiwi. Whenever I tell someone what I think kiwi tastes like, they always think I'm a fucking out of my mind. I always think kiwi tastes vaguely like like unripened bananas. Yeah, you are out of your mind. Uh, <laughs> I I get like a tartness and like unripened bananas. Good call. Next. <laughs> I hate you. The texture is better, but I I um, first time first time I ever had kiwis, I had uh I had uh, fainted, and I woke up. And someone was trying to. I thought shove. you meant there was a like a fainted strain of kiwis. No, I fainted, and someone. I woke up and someone was trying to shove Mountain Dew, and fucking kiwis in my face. The fuck were you being like? Was this like a fraternity like? No, I was. I was hazing. No, I was. Uh, I was in formation in the military. Is it a navy hazing then? No, it was, there was oh. the captain. Why would they? Oh, that, what? What? I think you were in like diabetic shock or something like that. No, I. I my blood sugar plummeted oh. or some nonsense. 
but like I, I was, I, I hit the fucking deck in, uh, I mean, literally, not even the deck, I was outside, we are in formation outside, and, uh, they, but I woke up, the captain's there, like, and this dirty, dirty, dirty cook, oh, there's a guy was so gross. Was dirty, with, dirty, dirty, dirty cook. This guy was in there with Mountain Dew and fucking kiwis, just to give me sugar. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. the first time I've ever had kiwis, ever. And I remember thinking it tastes almost like unripe bananas. Better texture, though. No. Anyway. So. Out of all the beer tubers that are going to be reviewing a hot butcher beer, I don't think anyone's going to have the terms dirty, dirty, dirty cook in their review, so. Well, like the... the first time for everything. Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, it smells... It, it smells It smells like, like strawberry cream. It smells like cream. strawberries and... Yeah, I was going to say like strawberries and cream. I don't vani- lime, though. Like lots of vanilla. I got a ton of vanilla. I'm not getting any lime, though. Yeah, I don't really get... Is there lime in the... Did they say lime in the... Yeah, I, Sean, I, said, I, I read it. I read it. I read it. I read it. Yeah, I know, remember we I know, talked I about this? I know, I know. Remember you tried to make me feel like I was dumb? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really, really yeah, outstanding. Let's get a, let's get a taste. Let's Cheers. Yep, let's go. There's a lime. Okay. Yep. That's how I was, I was like, it's going to come in like... Yeah, but it's more like like um, like lime pith, lime rind. Yeah, you know that mouthfeel though is it comes in creamy, but then kind of gets prickly. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's almost like if you mixed a like a, a thicker not a juice like a pulpier juice with like like a some other type of just regular non pulpy juice, and like you get like a, a an amalgamation of it. Yeah, it's really. Um, not beer like in flavor, it it, it very strong vanilla, very strong like uh like yeah it's like strawberry beer, like smashed kind of strawberries, yeah like 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 uh, almost like um, lime zest like that or like um n- not like juice lime but just like almost like a lime yeah, yeah like lime zest um yeah I don't know I don't know I don't really get kiwi but I get it I think like kiwi is probably. A- it could be a mix in the strawberry flavor. I'm getting like you're getting that depth, that berry flavor near the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's got that like it's got a bittering taste to it. So it's like, oh, it's what, bitter. Yeah. What were the hops again? C- c- citra and stratum. Like, are you getting citra in this? No. Not obviously. Anyway, because you, you're getting a bittering at the end. Citra's not a bitter hop at all. You know? Yeah. But I wonder if like you know, um, I wonder if the, the citra is sort of like elevating the other fruit flavors. You right. Know? Right. Because because you do citra, you get like some citrus, you get like some peach and all those other things. Yeah. And I, and I'm not getting cit- citrus uh, specifically, but I'm getting a little bit of like stone fruit in there. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a really fucking tasty beer for seven and a half percent. Like. Yeah. And like just when you think it's gonna get, when I first started drinking it, you think it's gonna get a little bit chalky. For some reason, I yeah. got that feeling, but then it just like goes away relatively quickly, and then like that's where all like the, like the fruitiness and the sweetness like hits your palate. Oh, yeah. And then as it finishes, it leaves not a bitterness, but it, it leaves almost bitter. a straw, a strawberry bitterness, like yeah, a it, fruity it, bitterness. Yeah, it's, it's vegeta- vegetal in a, yeah. in a strange way, you know. Yeah, but yeah, in a, in a good way though. Because you you're, you're almost getting like the strawberry seeds. You know what I mean? That's getting, what I think I was going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do have a question though, uh, not to be negative at all. Do you, do you think you would dr- like a whole can? I was thinking about this like two minutes ago. No, I think about a half can is what I like. This is just enough. Maybe even splitting this with a third person would be, be perfect. Perfect. Yeah, but with beers that are this fruit forward that aren't sours, I'm, that's sort of how I go. Yeah, no, it, I agree. It, yeah, it's not. It's I, it wouldn't be a slight on this beer. That's just how I roll. No, I agree, hundred percent. You know. Um, the more and more I'm having, like milkshake IPAs, yeah, I, I like them. But when it gets like this craziness, like it's not something I think I would want the full can of my glass because I'd be sitting there and then I'd be sipping it and then probably as I don't know. And it gets sure. warm. Yeah. yeah. And and there and there are some IPAs that as they warm do get better, but this is the type of beer that I think may not like. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. But like I said, you know, for the sample I'm having, it, it's it's outstanding. It's really yeah. really good. And in you know, it doesn't taste like seven and a half percent. No. And adds all that. Heft. It's like sweet vanilla juice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like given all the the adjuncts in the beer, I was 
when when I first read it, I was like, "Ooh, a milkshake IPA by Hop Butcher. This sounds good." And I started reading the adjuncts, and I was like, "I don't know. It seems like it's gonna be a little strange." Uh, Everything works though. Yeah, it does. And yeah, he said the artwork's outstanding. Yeah, and I think if this didn't have the vanilla, you wouldn't. I imagine they must have added the vanilla because oh, well, I don't brew beer, or we don't really brew as often as we haven't brewed in three years. I don't know what I'm talking about. Lactose gives you that that vanilla vibe, but I think obviously adding the extra vanilla gives you that extra mm, of sugar. Like I yeah. imagine if they didn't add the vanilla and they were just leaning on the lactose to, to do the vanilla, what would have uh, yeah, come from yeah, you? Yeah. I mean, I think it would have been a little bit more, not tart, but like you would have had more of that of, of the fruit coming through and not actually had the vanilla kind of cut through on that on that tartness bite. I think is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah I, mean? I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Even as it is, though, it all works for me. Oh, it does. But again, like it's just it's not. To their detriment, um, but beers like this, I don't, I wouldn't want the whole thing. This is something like I, I would like to have the sample as we're doing, honestly. Right, hundred you know? percent. And that's why I'm glad that uh, we're doing beer reviews as two people because some people drink the whole can. Fuck that noise sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. There are sometimes we're like, I'm gonna fight him for the rest of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments if you've had Hop Butcher and Brewski's Ribbit, their Citra and Strata Hopped Milkshake Double India Pale Ale, brewed with strawberry, ki- kiwi, lime, and vanilla, coming in at 7.5%. And oh, and this beer is canned on 211. It is 3.6, right? 3.6 or 3.4? It's like three and a half weeks old. Yeah, three and a half weeks old. So yeah, a little under a month. Um, and I just realized I got the date wrong when we did our early review. That beer was legit one year. Eh, the other half. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, yeah, nursesense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. And uh, nursesense.net. And <laughs> <sighs> you're going to start doing the outros. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is, is Nerd Sense. <laughs>